The following is a recitation of the words of Abigail Smith. The website of their original posting can be found here. This link, as well as any other appearing in this video, has been included in the video description area. I've always said, if Darwin and Wallace decided to open a resort and spa in Cuba instead of going into science, even if every fossil was still hidden, the second we found endogenous retroviruses, common descent would have smacked us in the head like a sack full of doorknobs. You can play connect the dots with the RVs to draw phylogenetic trees, like they did here. Well, okay, a little more complex than connect the dots. <laughs> So, the logical claim from creationists is that apparent common descent isn't real. Retroviruses and mobile elements could have inserted themselves in chimpanzees and humans independently, and we can't prove otherwise. Here are two papers that I've seen creationists use in support of this claim. The first one is entitled, Retroviral DNA Integration, ASLV, HIV, and MLV Show Distinct Target Site Preferences. The second is entitled, An Ancient Retrovirus-Like Element Contains Hotspots for Cyan Insertion. You can probably figure out from the paper titles why creationists latched onto these two. Site preferences? Hotspots? Insertion isn't random, therefore apparent common descent is an illusion. Unfortunately, if they had, you know, read the papers they referenced, they would know that the papers do not support that conclusion, and do not contradict the usage of mobile elements as phylogenetic markers. The first paper simply states that some retroviruses like to insert in genes, some like to insert near promoters of genes, and some like to insert in the middle of nowhere. The specific insertion sites, what base pairs on the left, and which ones are on the right, is random. That's exactly what they looked for in that paper's methods. Look at figure 1 here. All of those blue lollipops are places they found where HIV inserted itself. There's a lot more than one lollipop in that figure. The creationist claim is wrong. The second paper gives them a quote to pirate, and while it is true, it's not true in the way that creationists want it to be. It says, quote, The presence of a retrotransposon at a single locus in multiple taxa remains an extremely powerful phylogenetic marker, but caution is required before concluding that the existence of a particular sign at a particular locus in multiple individuals is indicative of common ancestry. End quote. These researchers found two independent cyan insertions in deer mice. They could tell the insertions apart, so their caution was for geneticists making phylogenetic trees. Look closely at your signs to make sure that they really are related and not independent events. Something they really should be doing anyway, but it's nice to know that you might find independent insertions while you're double-checking it. Their conclusion is that retro elements are just dandy for phylogenetic analysis. Again, the creationist claim is wrong. If you liked what you just heard, check out endogenousretrovirus.blogspot.com for more postings by Abigail Smith.